Researchers right here in California are tapping into the state's largest fault line to help predict future earthquakes. A massive quake on the other side of the world is really shifting our understanding of the San Andreas Fault. Yeah, the fault line runs most of the length of the state, about 800 miles. Scientists now think a quake could rupture along a much longer section of the fault than we thought. Reporter Niku Kazori from our Los Angeles sister station explains why. On March 28th, a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake struck Myanmar along the Sagang Fault, killing thousands and causing widespread damage. Now a new study using satellite images is revealing how the fault moved and the big implications for places like California. We take images before, after the earthquake, and then we, we match very accurately those images and we can measure the ground dis displacement. Researchers at Caltech found that the Sagang Fault shifted more than 500 kilometers, far beyond what they thought was possible. This is a major finding as it suggests faults like the San Andreas could produce larger and more complex quakes than before. So this area had been identified as a seismic gap, an area prone to produce a large earthquake in the future. Mm -hmm. So it did happen. It did happen. However, the rupture is much longer than we expected. So what is surprising is that the earthquake was, was, a, was able to re-rupture segments that had rupture already in the 30s. The research also challenges existing models used to predict earthquakes, which are based on past events. Instead, this study suggests that earthquakes might not just repeat what's happened before, they could actually release much more energy or be comprised of smaller clusters of quakes. Maybe the earthquake would, would, would rupture on, over a larger distance and could rupture, for example, the southern portion that hasn't ruptured for a long time. The last rupture here is 1730, so you've had plenty of time to build up stress. So yeah. the message is that maybe the next earthquake will rupture the whole thing, or maybe it will rupture in a sequence of smaller earthquakes, and it's hard to tell. Niku Kazori, ABC7 News.